Madrid. Their dream of lifting the FA Carlsberg vase was shattered when they were beaten 2-1 by Alzi Town. The Wembley experience. Live, enjoy and remember each moment. Every footballer dreams of playing here, but only a few ever see those dreams come true. For Oxford City footballers, it's the biggest day of their lives. The butterflies are in here. It's just yesterday was in here, and you know, the lines wasn't put down. The goals wasn't up there. It's doing the pitch, and we're thinking, well, are we really going to be here this morning? We didn't. It looked like we was going to go play somewhere else, and all of a sudden you're here, and it's just. I don't know. It's just great. It's just a great feeling to be here. I didn't sleep too well last night because obviously you, you live the game about six times in your dreams. But um, you know it's all gone very quickly, and, and now we're here just uh, an hour and a half away from the kickoff. So really looking forward to it. A big day for the fans and the followers too. A day when the young, in particular, can share the Wembley success story. I think Oxford this year will win, but I'm not sure how much, but I do think they'll win. Oh, they're the greatest team on earth, really. Thanks. Oxford City's the best team in the world. And what's the score going to be? 100 nil. <laughs> five, six years ago, they very nearly went out of business, so it's a bit of a fairy tale that they're coming, they've come back, and in five years they're appearing back at Wembley. I know Steve the Fontaine boys. They used to do boys' football management uh, ten years ago. So, um, what were they like then? Very good then. <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice to see one of them score, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? Stepping out at Wembley, stepping out where so many football heroes have been before. Now, though, it's the turn of Alsey Town and Oxford City in front of 13,500 people. The nerves, the excitement and the emotions. There's nothing like it. Well, probably. The favourite city believed their name was on the FA Vars. Steve Fontaine believed his name would be on the score sheet. It nearly was within minutes of the start. City continued the attack, positive and threatening, shooting on sight. Chris Fontaine danced his way through the Alzi defence, but it just wouldn't go right for Andy Thomas. Then who would have believed what was to happen next? It was the Alzi bomb. Anglers will know what that is. Paul Palmer went fishing for a goal and caught the city defence hook, line and sinker. But all was not lost. Another 45 minutes to go. While City were down, they were not out. After all the chances, the equaliser just had to come. Chris Fontaine made it and brother Steve buried it. The roar of the Wembley crowd will ring in his ears forever. True to his word, manager Andy Thomas brought on his substitutes. He wanted everyone to share City's day at Wembley. But perhaps it was the Arzi sub who helped turn the game. Tony Ward, who'd lost his arm in a motorcycle accident. His shot screamed against the crossbar. From then on, town sensed the win, and it was Sandor Gyalog who took his chance well and took the lead. 2-1 down with just a few minutes to play, City made a last gasp effort to reach extra time. But if they couldn't find the goal in open play, how about a penalty? This should have been won, and City were left wondering what could have been. It wasn't given. And the FA Carlsberg Vars went to Alzi. After dominating the game, of course, there was shock for City. There was disappointment, even despair, but no disgrace. They did the City proud. Oxford took home their losers' medals, but also some great memories. Something to tell their children and one day their grandchildren about. It's a great day. It's a great day. Say, so someone's got to lose. It just happens to be us. I think first, I don't know how we, how we lost that game today. You know what I mean? Should have, should have hammered them. Should have hammered them. But I mean, they battled well. We missed our chances. We missed one good one right at the end, didn't we? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I laid on a couple, but I thought we played brilliant today. We, we just, just, couldn't, just couldn't score. Oxford City's Chris Fontaine was man of the match. He'll never forget the goal he scored at Wembley. My brother did well because it's a long ball over and he made about 20 yards on the guy. The guy must have been slow. And he got a good cross in and Jimmy had a shot. The guy did a good save, but I was there at the right time and just popped up and popped in, really. What does it mean to you to have scored at Wembley? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to believe we're still here, really. 
it's, it's a good feeling though, it's a good feeling when it went in. Fans enjoyed it, I wish we could have made it a victorious day for them, but yeah, it's a good feeling, nice buzz. That was the day that Oxford City went to Wembley. They didn't come home with the cup, but they did come back with great memories, and they'll never lose those. And in case you're wondering, an Aussie bomb is apparently a bit of fishing tackle, Erica tells me.